this video we will learn how to solve sudoku using python so before starting we must know what is sudoku sudoku is nothing but a puzzle of 9 cross 9 grade in this puzzle we have to solve this using 1 to 9 numbers and such that no two such numbers repeat in a row in a column or in a square as well so when we solve sudoku we do it by a hit and trial method and solve it but can we solve it using python let's get back to our python jupyter notebook so first basically i have assigned a board or a sudoku here as shown which is a list of list of numbers and here i have assigned different different numbers with some values are empty and some values have some numbers let's print this board we see after printing this board we see that it is not in the readable form to make it in a readable form python is an awesome library called numpy numpy is basically used to play with arrays numbers so using numpy we can print our board in the matrix form as shown we can see that it was perfectly working here like it is shown in the matrix form after this we define our function position possible to enter the number into our matrix so here define possible in this we have x and y which are the indices of matrix and number is the number to be entered into the sudoku or our matrix so we use for loops and if condition to find out if the number is already present there let's like see there's seven eight is already there so if the number is already there we return false and if the number is not there we put up a number and return true so we basically do it for our rows and our columns and for the square wait like here we did it for our rows and columns and for this square using this function find out the possible number to be entered into the rows we let's try out our let's say x indices to be 1 and y indices to be 2 and the number we are going to enter is 8 okay it's returning false let's try another number let's say 5 again false and false 2 yeah it's true this we define a function solve to solve our board using again for loops for our x indices and y indices and we find the numbers in the range of 1 to 10 and if the number is found possible the number is assigned to the board and we again use this function solve or we can say recursion recursion will be the right word because we are using this function again and again to fill up the values in our matrix we return it and print our board and after calling this function let's see okay it's perfectly fine our sudoku which have empty values here have been solved to it good no so thank you very much for watching this